Hey guys, um, sorry for crappy phone video, um, I just wanted to hurry and post this update and, um, yeah, so this is the easiest way. Um, today is September the 4th, I am 36 weeks and 3 days, and, um, I had my appointment today, so... Um, that's why I waited to talk to you. Um, I wasn't supposed to have another scan until I went into labor, and, um, they went ahead and gave me another one today, and I'll sort of talk about that in a second. But, um, so we got to the scan, or we got to the appointment, and they, um, Check my blood pressure, and if you guys have been following like the last couple weeks, you know it's been running kind of high. Not super, super high, but not wonderful. And it was still high. Um, they don't really want to call it preeclampsia because I don't really have any of the other signs. Um, you know, like lots of protein or, you know, that sort of thing. But, um, so they're just sort of saying it's gestational hypertensity or hypertensive, gestationally hypertensive or how, like, however you say that. Um, anyways, um, they went ahead and sent me for an ultrasound to see what position the babies were in. And the little girl has turned back to head down, but the boy is... Um, still breach. So, um, the doctor decided they're going to do is to schedule a C-section. So I have that scheduled, um, for Monday. So I'll be 37 and 1. Um, he did tell me to make sure I, um, have a scan when I go in just to make sure to see if they randomly have turned or not. Um, I can kind of tell if the boy's turned. I can't ever really tell if the girl's turned, but I can tell if the boy's turned because I can feel his head really easily. And, um, it's up high. A little, about even with my belly button, I guess. So, if I don't feel that, then I'll definitely ask for a scan. If not, then we'll just go ahead with the C-section. Um, at the ultrasound, they also did a quick measurement. The boy is weighing around six pounds and the girl's only weighing like five three so she's only gained three ounces in a week and he's gained like eight so um they're not loving the um size difference between them either um uh, they're not quite a pound but they're really close to being a pound difference so um you know just get them out that sort of thing um Yeah, so, anyways, that's sort of what I'm, um, dealing with right now. Nothing really exciting to update on. They did check me. I was a two. Um, it doesn't really matter because the babies aren't engaged at all because the boy's butt can't fit down there the way it's positioned, I guess. And, you know, the girl doesn't really matter so much. So, um, yeah. Um, the one time... For the first time, I should say, my my body is doing what it should and dilating and doing all that, and it doesn't even matter. So, uh, the last couple of days, I've had contractions every evening for a couple hours, and then they go away. So, um, I'm trying to stay a little bit hopeful that the boy will s turn head down, but I just don't really see it happening. Um, they said the girl, even though she's smaller, is kind of blocking him in the way he would turn. So. Plus, he's already six pounds, so we'll see. Um, what does that leave? That's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to do a separate video, sort of my thoughts on the C-section, because I don't want this to be too long. I just want to get this out there to update you guys so you know what's happening. Um, and I'll update you as soon as I can on Monday. But And I'm going to try to record as much as possible. Um, with my mom not being able to be in the room with me because I'll be doing a C-section, I won't have a, anyone to video, so I won't really have anything from that. You'll just see me maybe before and then after, of course, but, um, yeah, I'm kind of bummed that I don't get to have, like, the 
labor video, sort of, but anyways, um, yeah, uh, watch for a sort of C-section emotions video, because I have a lot of them, a lot of emotions about it right now, so, um, anyways, talk to you guys later, bye.